Hey everyone, welcome back to Terramata Gardens. Today we're diving underground, virtually, of course, to meet a common garden critter, the vole. These little guys might look cute, but for farmers and gardeners, they can be a real headache. So let's get to know these fascinating, yet frustrating creatures. Voles are actually rodents, close cousins to mice and rats. They originated in Eurasia, but are now found all over the world, including most of North America. Voles are surprisingly diverse with over 300 species. Unlike their fancy tuxedo cousins, voles have a more practical wardrobe, thick fur and shades of brown and gray for excellent camouflage. Their most interesting feature, those buck teeth. They never stop growing, so voles need to constantly gnaw to keep them in check. This unfortunately is where our garden troubles begin. Voles are vegetarians with serious appetite for our favorite plants. They love to munch on roots, stems, and bulbs, leaving your precious veggies looking wilted and stunted. They're also champion burrows, creating tunnels that can disrupt your carefully planned garden beds. Here's how to spot vole activity. If your seedlings are disappearing overnight, voles might be the culprit. Look for small, smooth paths running through the plants. These are vole highways. Voles leave raised ridges of earth where they're buried, or they where they where they've buried. Voles love to feast on the tender shoots and roots of grass, leaving patchy, uneven lawns. Voles are persistent, but they're always there are ways to make your garden less ha- hospitable. <laughs> hospitable. Exclusion is key. Line your raised beds with hardware cloth. This is a heavy duty mesh that voles can't chew through. Bury the mesh at least six inches underground and extend it a few inches above the sole to create a vole-proof barrier. For in-ground gardens, consider a smaller fence around the perimeter. Natural repellents can help deter voles. Castor oil mixed with water can be sprayed around the perimeter of your garden. The scent is unpleasant to voles, but harmless to humans and most pets. Hot pepper spray is another option, although be cautious around flowering plants and vegetables you plan to consume. If you're facing a vole army, traps might be necessary. There are two main types. Snap traps. These kill voles quickly, but be mindful of attracting unattended targets like birds or curious pets. Place them along vole runways with peanut butter as bait. Check traps daily and dispose of voles humanely according to local regulations. And live traps. These humane traps capture voles alive. You can then relocate them to a suitable habitat far away from your garden but check with local regulations for proper relocation. Always check your local regulations before using any traps or or rodenticides. There may be a restriction on certain methods of requirements for proper disposal of trapped animals. Encourage natural predators. Having a healthy ecosystem with nesting boxes for owls or attracting snakes with a brush pile in a corner of your property away from your garden can help control vole populations naturally. Owls, hawks, snakes, foxes, and and even some cats love to snack on voles. So there you have it. Voles. Fascinating yet frustrating little creatures. By understanding their habits and using the right methods, you can keep your garden safe from these silent saboteurs. Remember, a healthy ecosystem encourages natural predators, which can help keep vole populations in check. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy gardening.